G'day folks, back at Timberline, freezing our backsides off, getting saturated. But, um, we had a little bit of a break in the weather and we're going to head out and have a bit of a sticky beak. It's a little bit later than what we'd normally like to get out in the morning, um, but yeah, it was pissing rain this morning, so we'll just see how we go. Spread out. Um, yeah, Jamie and I are up here. Jamie's second time up here. This is my sixth time. Uh, Greg, who's wandering off over there, it's my brother in law. His first time up here, so I'm just going to sort of show him a couple of the spots that um, might produce a little bit of action. Don't forget and, Warren. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dave's over there. Warren. <laughs> seen the video of him with his broken leg. Yeah, that's it. Nobody can forget that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll get into the bush, hopefully, not get a wet ass, yeah. and um, yeah, keep you posted as we go. What's going on, guys? Just got dropped off on the other side of the hill the start of this paddock but yeah heading up to a um like a track that leads up out this way and across the back so yeah good good couple k walk i reckon so yeah it's wind it's coming from behind me at this stage um but yeah it's raining as you can see it's cold it's wet but i wouldn't have it any other way Fantastic. Like this game trail is pretty well used. zoom in and show you footage of it, it's only a young, um, it's like maybe a couple of years old or something like that, just feeding, so it's in the thicker stuff at the moment, so we're, um, yeah, we're just going to hang back and just watch and see what it does, and if we can work out a game plan then so be it, well, um, yeah, fingers crossed, it's a good sign. I know, so I'm at the top of the hill where I'm going to start, I came in from that way, they dropped me off on the road down there, and yeah, just gonna try and walk a couple of days down this track looking for game trails and things like that. Be just a good way to start the, the morning off, I guess, and then this afternoon might be a different plan. But um, yeah, took the raincoat off. It's been raining all night and everything, and it was just too hot to walk in it. Now the rain stopped, so made everything really nice and quiet, which is good. So yeah, wish me luck. So there's actually two there. It's like a yearling and a, and a bit older one, um, but it's in some pretty thick stuff, so at least. The other one, the older one, walked off. The yearling's still just feeding. Um, but yeah, all we can do is really just sit and wait and see what it does. Yeah, just go to the wind. At least all sorts of stuff. Yeah, the wind isn't helping us. It's in our favour a little bit. Now it's coming down from our left hand side. But before it was up our back side, so. I don't know, we'll just sit and wait and see. much reached the end of where I wanted to walk to um, this gully <coughs> leads all the way down there to the property that we're staying at there's a uh, wallow over here and there's a lot of water sort of running through it heaps of prints prints everywhere I want to I want to get it with a better camera but I don't want to bring it out if it's too much you know rain and things like that so I'm gonna have to do most of the filming with a GoPro unfortunately for now but um, yeah there's some what a deer sign, there's a few, not as many scrapes as I thought there would be, but... Not too really fresh, still tacky. So yeah, bit of sign around. I reckon this place would be good for an afternoon hunt. Come out of here and be in position um, somewhere close to this vicinity over here and then yeah hopefully something is moving through here and then heading out towards the property but the only problem with that is there's a lot of wind sort of comes up this way in the afternoon so you have to really pick your spot properly um, 
yeah, apart from that, I think I might just have a bit more of a look around here and then head back and, um, and chill out camp for a bit. And then if it's, I know, if it's still overcast like this, the deer will still be out moving. So I can uh, maybe go for another walk in the early afternoon all the way up to dark. So that's the plan. Hopefully Scott and um, Greg and Warren had more luck than me at the moment. This is the main game trail that leads in all along up here. I don't know if you can see too well on camera through those trees and up that way. Um, there's game trails that split off either way, either side. There's dog prints in here as well, so there's obviously wild dogs around. Mixed in with the, um, the prints in the mud with deer. So. Wind is pretty much up the gully. What's that? Gonna be a fox. Not sure a fox. No fox. Hello. Fresh wombat diggings. Huge. I could crawl in there easily. game trail there's a lot of activity on it and there's fresh scat over there with flies on it so something's come through here not that long ago so the wind isn't in my favor it's coming this way so I'm going to use that I guess to walk up the game trail hopefully there's nothing behind me down in the gully down here because it will get my scent but if there's something coming down this way I might have half a chance but I think it's a bit too late in the day now it's probably close to 10 o'clock I'd imagine so Warren's somewhere down, down here on this tree line not just here obviously <laughs> on the other side of the paddock over there he's somewhere in there I'm noticing on this game trail there's a lot of these slide slide marks in the mud obviously it's coming across here there's a bit of a divot there and it goes up and around there and also here now it's either something that's come down here and it's two front feet has sort of pushed it you know, to stop itself with I mean, look at that. That's really fresh. Um, yeah, walking downhill and it's just going slowly, or it took off uphill fast and it's kicked all this stuff back. Um, I don't think, unless it's like last night, I don't think it'll be something that's walked downhill. I think something's run up here fast not long ago, maybe this morning or something. So. I don't know, we'll keep walking. And a giant wombat hole. It's not why I come over here though. Look at that. The tree is thrashed. That one over there is as well, the small one. Good little area, I think. Keep heading up, go around this slick stuff. See what we can see over there. Alright, I've currently worked my way from the top of that hill back over the other side. Um, the bush has opened up a lot. The wind is in my favour more now. That's why I'm heading down this way. There's another gully just down there, which I'll keep going on. Closer to that, 
get down to the bottom over here. So yeah, um, so far, not a lot of sign uh, on this side. There is still prints and things, but not as much as sort of where I was. So um, this might be just a quick trip to check this here area out, this side of the hill, and um, make a plan. I mean, there is a few scrapes and rubs around. They look pretty old though, so yeah, with any luck, we'll see something further on. Well, except for the morning, I didn't actually see any deer. Just spoke to Scott on the radio, he's with Greg on the other block, and they said they saw two deer, but I think it was some distance away or something. Warren's on his way back, he is. You probably can't really see. <laughs> no, you won't be able to see, but. Where the tree line is right on the end there, he's where the, the gully meets below it. So it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, he'll be walking down this way along any minute now. So, yep, go back, get the fire going, have some lunch, and then yeah, make a plan for this afternoon. The weather's actually really good now, apart from the wind, it's heading straight up on that hill. So I went and walked from all the way over this side along the the bridge, not not the high ridge, sort of in between both, all up and down over there, and then Warren went the same. He went he went across this way and then up and down, so yeah, didn't really see anything apart from two wallabies, kangaroos, um, just some sign, which is good, I guess. So, anyway, make a plan this Arvo and head back out. All right, we've just come out for an Arvo hunt. All of us are in the one wagon. We're going to head, going to head down this property along, along the edge over here. We've hunted before in the past. This is where I took this shot on the last timberline video. And lost the stag unfortunately. Uh, where I was earlier this morning is where Scott shot his hind so I'm trying to hang out at the end of the spots to try and get something so but anyway it's raining as it has been non-stop pretty much the whole time yeah. we've been here so. It's making do with old school camouflage, rain pitches, whatever we can do because everything <laughs> else is wet. It's it, whatever keeps you dry so anyway we're gonna have a look around here head more down this side of the, um, the property and yeah see how we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, so day two, this is um, the first day, it hasn't been raining, so Greg and I are just going to cut a lap of the main block, a little bit later this morning anyway, but um, yeah, we just thought we'd come out and see what's going on, they might come out into the sun, um, I think Jamie's heading up into those hills, up over there as you can see, and Dad's uh, yeah, going to be <coughs> up the top of, uh, pretty much up the top of where we are. So fingers crossed this weather holds out for us over the next few days. Um, yeah, it's all we can hope for really, because it's been pretty average lately. It's still freezing cold, it's really, really cold. And I've done a blood blister in my eye or blood vessel or something like that, so it's pretty manky. I've got a good eye, it's not my shooting eye, so it's all good. <laughs> so we'll, um, yeah, gear up and head off for a wander. Day two, well, technically day three, but probably the first day we shouldn't count as a day of hunting, but anyways, late start this morning, about six o'clock now, something like that, because it was raining heavy all night and all morning, so it just stops, the sun's coming out, it's freezing cold, but um, yeah, I'm in, <coughs> I'm in an area of the bush behind where we're staying, and um, I came in here yesterday morning, and came in from the other side, so I'm going to try a different angle today. A lot of tracks through there, so hopefully we can see something moving today and uh, yeah, have a crack at it. But uh, so far on the deer front, it's been pretty quiet. So um, yeah, put that down to the weather. Just lots of heavy rain. So anyway, hopefully it's cleared up now. Give us a few clear days, we can get out and do some serious hunting. So just a quick little walk this morning. We got out a little bit too late anyway, but um. A little bit of fresh sign around from either last night or early this morning. Probably after it stopped pissing down rain, but it's um yeah, there's definitely activity around. So Greg and I are just heading back to the car now. 
another gully over just to my left that Dad was sitting on the top of and we just heard two or three honks. So I'm guessing that was yeah, that was towards him. So, at least he might have seen something. Seeing him is one thing, but obviously as we all know, getting close and getting him is another. So we'll just keep on trying. Above the kangaroos. See one's head. They are looking at me. I suspect that's the deer I've been following. I've been seeing sign and tracks and shit on here. I thought it might have just been a small samba or something, but no, maybe, maybe it was fallow. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, it's a little buck. A little spiker. See if we can get closer for a bit of fun. should be out of the gullies and up higher a bit trying to get in the sun because it was cold this morning it's been raining the last few days so maybe heading to those you know, sunny areas might be the go I don't know um, it's hit and miss here but I think that's my plan I'm just gonna head up a lot higher and then see if I can make my way on, on the ridge line across here to where I want to go anyways it might be a better vantage point that way as well so but I'm pretty sure the sign that I was finding isn't fallow deer. I'm pretty sure it's sand deer. Because the you know, crap and stuff on the ground is just too big to be fallow. So. Anyway, I'll keep pushing on. I'm kind of silhouetted. I might move more down the, to the right. So I'm on top of that gully. I just heard some honks before. That's why I'm doing some calls now. They were way down in the gully, but the wind is coming up. So I don't know what definitely not honking at me. But it's the first honks I've heard this whole time. Sitting in a bit of a hide. Well, not really. I'm just sitting there on a log. <laughs> this is what I'm looking at. There's a big game trail running down here. Another game trail running in front of me there. Yeah, just here. And one in front of that. Now, if something goes over there, I've got a good shooting window. And anywhere in here will be fine as well. 
but it funnels down all from behind me in that side as well so it's pretty thick in here not a lot of spots to sit as far as you know, getting a good vantage but that's all we've got so the wind at the moment is pretty terrible it's going up the hill but i think coming down from that way will be pretty safe plan to sit here until we can't see anymore it's too dark or something so yeah that's it and um yeah, didn't see anything else earlier on just at the, after I saw the fallow deer I heard a couple of honks in the distance it wasn't at me or anything else I don't know what, I, what it was or anything it was just I don't know Sam behinds just having a honk for some reason but anyways um, hopefully we'll see something this afternoon As you can see, um, yeah, it's never usually running like this. There's never usually water in it at all. So yeah, a lot of rain, very wet still. this morning. It's about 6.30 we've been out here since, oh, I don't know, probably over an hour and a half or so. Um, we've probably got out here a little bit too late to be honest, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, we saw a silhouette of one sort of running over the ridge and possibly one um, going across the fence line this morning, but apart from that we haven't seen really much at all. A few kangaroos, there was a wombat over there. Um, but yeah, nothing much else at all. Didn't even get honked. Normally, um, yeah, you sort of bust something in the mornings when you walk in in the dark, but yeah, nothing this morning, so yeah, a little bit quiet. I'm not sure whether the weather's meant to turn today or not either, so that'll just have to be, yeah, we'll have to just wait and see what happens with that. But yeah, there's more cloud has just rolled in as well. It's starting to get a little bit um, drizzly or damp, so. Hopefully that passes through, the cloud can lift and we can actually see something. So yeah, we'll keep you posted. We got here in pitch dark. I'm in a stand at the moment, hoping something comes, comes down this gully here. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen anything yet. Didn't even get a honked coming in, which is unusual. Usually we get a honked coming in here, so. Um, the only thing I've seen is two hares on the hill playing behind me. And there's a wombat that came down the gully over here. I'll get some uh, footage of that for you. And yeah, when I first saw the wombat and the colour of the dark brown coming from the top of the hill, I was all way out, you know, excited for about three seconds and then <laughs> realised it was a wombat, so it's unfortunate. But anyways, uh, probably be here for another hour or so. Uh, Greg and Scott are up the hill behind me up here in another stand, so with any luck they can see something as well, so but nothing yet. We'll keep you posted though.
short that way. Everything else is really thick around. So uh, I think I'll be able to get a shot up in any, any of there. But if anything comes down from this side, we might have a chance. So I don't know. End of day three, let's do nothing on the ground for us. Um, Greg's had a shot at a fox and he missed. Jamie had a, um, a shot at a hare and um, he had missed that. But apart from that, we haven't really seen yeah, any action at all. Um, I was just I was going back from one of the hides um, that I was sitting at for yeah, a few hours this afternoon till dark pretty much. And on last light, basically, uh, yeah, my hind come out. I mean, she's still 90 metres, 100 metres away, unfortunately. Did a couple of calls and, um, yeah, she never... She sort of looked, but wasn't that interested, to be honest. And then just, yeah, sort of fed through the bush and that was that. Couldn't really get a chance to get in any closer or do anything about it, so... Heading back to the car and, um, yeah, back to camp and make a plan for tomorrow. I've seen a few Samba, but um, they've no, no chance or anything. They've all been... At a real big distance or you know just busted off through the scrub when we, we're walking through some thicker stuff so yeah no opportunities as yet um weather hasn't been very kind to us it's been piss and rain the first couple of days and then uh, yesterday arvo and today have been quite good so hopefully that's the trend for the next couple of days for us but yeah we'll just wait and see the wind unfortunately has been all over the shop so that hasn't helped the situation either. So yeah, it's making it a bit harder. It is meant to be quite a good time of year to be hunting the Samba as well, so, I mean, we're looking at mid to late September um, at the moment. So yeah, it should be, should be quite good. There should be a bit more activity, but yeah, at the moment we're doing it tough. But that's just all part of Samba hunting, I suppose. Just try and get out in the bush and keep having a crack, so. Get back to car, back to camp, and we'll work out um, yeah, what our plan is for tomorrow. Hopefully the other guys have seen something or heard something, got something to be bonus. But um, yeah, we all sort of spread out in different gullies and different hills and so forth just to try and maximise our chances. So fingers crossed. Um, yeah, and we'll uh, work out our plan of attack for tomorrow. Till then. Greg managed to capture this footage of a sand behind and a stag on the neighbouring property about three or four hundred metres away. Unfortunately, because it's on the neighbour's property, we don't have access to it, so it uh, was a bit of a no-go zone. It's good to get footage nonetheless.
it's day four in the morning, it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, we left it a little bit later this morning. I've just walked slowly across the other side of the, uh, the property that we're on. And uh, this is the view that I've got from here. Still haven't seen any deer today yet. I mean, it is later in the day, but it's still overcast and it's quite cool. I literally just stopped to take a layer of clothing off. Thermal top off because it was freezing cold this morning and then now it's just warmed up a little bit because I've been moving around, so. But yeah, we um, seen uh, two deer last night in one of the crops. One was a nice, um, one was a nice stag. It wasn't huge, but it was you know one with antlers at least. And I think it was a spiker that was next to it. And I was using some of the uh, Dassun night vision um, binoculars that um, we've been testing out and stuff. And they actually work pretty good. I'll put the footage up here so you can have a bit of a look and see what it was. And they were about to begin with, about 200 meters away, maybe. And we managed to get closer to about 100 and get some of the footage that you can see. So. But um, yeah, uh, that wasn't too far from the house, so it might be worth a plan to, I don't know, maybe sit where they're coming out um, in the afternoon to the crop, but it seems to be too dark anyway, so yeah, anyway, that's the plan today. I'm just going for a walk and have a look at sort of some sign in the area and see what might be productive, and yeah, we've got, um, obviously, this afternoon to hunt, now, this afternoon, and uh, tomorrow morning and afternoon and then that's it so two days to pull it together here yeah, the other guys are um further down uh, from me doing the same sort of thing so yeah fingers crossed we see something um head back about lunch time and get some lunch and then go out again so definitely pushing hard walking a lot of kilometers i think i've worked out so far i've walked eight eight k's maybe six six to eight k's so um, yeah, it's not like too hard, but when you're walking in the hills, it can take it out of you. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things you've got to do what you got to do. Anyway, well, I keep pushing on.
made my way right around the edge of the property. Now I'm in a really nice looking spot above a gully. Just looking for sign and everything. I might come back if the, if the weather's good and the wind. I might come back here tomorrow morning. It looks very, very promising. A few, I can see from here a few um, tree rubs and scrapes and a few other bits and pieces. It's all the way down there. There's like a waterfall or something in there, but it's really thick. So I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe they may, they may come out at night and feed and then come back in. in so they come out and feed and back in and if I can get myself all the way down here somewhere, I might have another chance. Um, I've noticed like an old sort of cutting that goes in there but it looks pretty quiet to walk in that as well so I'll check it out as I'm walking back to the car. spots too now pretty good I mean the fact that I'm comfortable I can see things below me I wouldn't be able to see things from behind me though up the hill so if something comes in behind I'll probably get honked or something I, I don't know but it's all that ridge behind me that things could come come from further down and then cut up in and I wouldn't even know um, but yeah anyways Alright, it's day four in the afternoon. Scott and I are heading out to a spot that we haven't really hunted much um, at all, so anything's possible. It's where I was earlier in the, in the cutting on the edge of the hill, so um, hopefully the wind is good so far. Any luck we can see something, should be good. Um, I plan to um, put myself in the, in the middle of the cutting and then Scott will he'll walk further around. And Greg and Warren, they've gone way behind bush behind us over that way but, um, yeah, with any luck we're going to see something have a crack at least but yeah so far it's been pretty quiet on the yeah on the deer front on the deer front well, they're definitely the around but it's just 16 or something like that but yeah just haven't just not on no yeah. chances there that just distance or you're busting coming out of bush so mm. although greg's trail camera got some good um photos uh, some good video yeah. um of early morning and some late night stuff which i'll put up now and you'll see on the on the screen here of what we've got and there was what one one okay stag and one stag that had looked like it had a bit of a weird left antler. Um, I don't know, but until I get it on the big screen, it's not too hard to tell. So, but either way, whatever footage we get with that, we'll just put it up here for you to see as well. So, anyways, we'll um, yeah, put the GoPros on and see if we can get something tonight. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Just found this little hidey hole. It's actually pretty cool. So we've got the cutting in here. There's two game trails that run up this way. There's another one just here. And the game trail here. You can see how it's all chewed up and stuff. It's all deer prints. Um, I can see things coming across down there. Yeah, so that's the plan. If anything comes in from that way, I don't know what the wind's doing. Yeah, the wind's going down that way. So hopefully something comes along here comes up this game trail to get up here to the top I might be able to have a crack if it does walk down there probably get winded but we'll see I don't know but it's not a bad little spot here I mean like a bit of a divot sort of a hole That's one way to know that your camo works. It's bracket this stuff. Bloody excellent. Sitting in the bracket food. Kangaroos jumped up within like five meters. Wish it was a Samba deer though.
morning. It sort of worked. But yeah, I might stop looking at the scrub over there. What did you call? <laughs> what do you reckon? Was it too loud? Are you good? Yeah, I don't know. I wanted to go away. I know. Keep going. Because we can't do shit. I can't see. Something together with this last hunt. Um, otherwise, if not, we'll um, try again next time. 